This show, just like all the other StarCast shows, are available at adfreeshows.com. You had that injury. Everybody knew that in, in 89 that you were going to probably be the next World Heavyweight Champion. Had that injury. How did that affect your mentality or affect your excitement leading to your career? I mean, it's, it's one of those times, you know, my, my injury was one of those that, was, that needed reconstructive surgery. Yes. And you don't know if you're really going to be able to come back. Right. Uh, and if you can come back, are you, you know, is it going to be too late? Will you have missed your window of opportunity? To, you know, you had a window, you were in it, you were on the ride. And I've, I saw so many guys get hurt or injured or have other personal problems and have to get out. And lost that ride and tried to come back and when they came back things were different it just just it, it, it wouldn't click for them again and so you know and it's a dog eat dog world pro wrestling is you know everybody's we're all buddies we all love each other but you know it's very competitive and and you you want the number one spot you want that match against rick flair you want to run with the four horsemen and you know uh so it was a scary deal yeah. And, um, you know, I, I found the best doctor in the country to do it. So it's supposed to be a seven-month out. I came back in five months at the Great American Bash. Right. And wrestled Rick in July in Baltimore. And, yeah. and um, it, I, that, was, that was pretty tough. My, my leg, my knee really wasn't ready. It, it was a freak thing, too, when you, you had the injury. It didn't happen in the ring. It happened outside of the ring. Outside the ring, yeah. yeah. It, but, you know, in those days, you're, you're doing so many TV tapings, and it's in and out of the ring. You, you warm up. You get loose and limber. You cool off. Then you've got to go again. You cool off. You've got to go again. It's like over and over and over again. Right. And so I had street clothes on, had the cowboy boots on and jeans and, you know, running to the ring and, and uh, you know, jumped off on my left leg to go grab up onto the cage. I was supposed to crawl into the cage and get into it with Rick and I uh, felt something go in my leg. I mean, I honestly thought that it was like a, was a Nancy Kerrigan, the ice skater that yeah, thought somebody, yeah. had, you know, the, the pipe deal. And so I thought somebody hit me with a pipe or, really? or something. I, I mean, I did. I looked back at the fans sitting in the front row and they were all like this. <laughs> I, I knew no one did anything. So, you know, I put my hand down there like this and I put my fingers underneath my kneecap. My kneecap was way up here way up high on my leg. It's pretty disgusting. But I knew exactly what it was. Yeah. So I knew my patella tendon was severed. It was gone. Right. And so I hobbled around and Rick crawled out of the cage. I was supposed to go in. He yeah. didn't know what was going on. So he's crawling out. I got Wahoo McDaniels and I think JJ, uh, no, no. Uh, um, who was the undercover guy that was with us for, for so many years? Um, Dillinger, yeah, my gosh. Thank Doug you. Doug Dillinger. How did hey, I we're playing anyway, Doug Shirades Dillinger, Wahoo McDaniel, a bunch of other guys. And, you know, and I, I said, right. man, Rick's crawling out of the cage, and he's coming this way. I said, you've got to stop him because – and I'm hopping around on my right leg, and from the knee down on the left side, the leg is just kind of swirling, turning in circles. No – <laughs> it's grotesque to think about but you know please stop him you know and he, here he comes jumping over the top of everybody on top of me Rick Rick I'm hurt <laughs> my knee's gone stop yeah he was like a, a pit bull like a, yeah you know blood he was out for it right because when the when the lights on the bell rang he was like another human being in there wasn't he oh yes yeah especially if there were dollar signs involved yeah absolutely <laughs> I think we're all like that. So you come back, as you said, they said seven months, you came back in five months, had the match with Rick. Biggest moment of your life? Maybe. I mean, you had Nick, big moments. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's one of the biggest for yeah. sure. I mean, the very first time I won the world title against Rick Flair, and it was in Baltimore, and the Baltimore was always a good town for sure. me. The reaction was incredible. I'll never forget that. Um, and I made it through the match, and I don't think if, if it was in, against anyone else other than Rick, I don't know if I would have come back in the whole five months like that, but I right. trusted him so much, and he kept reassuring me. He says, nope, nope, it's going to work. It's going to work. We'll make it work. Right. And um, I'm, I'm glad that I did it the way I did it. All right. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.